Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rich. All right, welcome to Super Fun Sunday. What is it? It's Friday. <laughs> Stick with me here for a second. We're going to get into this. So what we're going to look at is we're going to look at Katsuya Tarada. He's a great, great Japanese comic book artist, and uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. He's actually, in, a, in an interesting way, sort of cross paths with uh, Kim Jong-ji, but... Um, before Kim was really known in the United States, Tarada was kind of that guy. I don't know if Tarada was so much doing the spontaneous drawings like he does now. Uh, that may have been sort of a, a cross influence with Kim Jong Ji. But anyway, Tarada has been kind of known, I think, for at least my peer group for a little while. But anyway, it's Friday night. Um, I was going to try to shoot a book on my desk, but because it's Friday night, um, I'm going to say it like 50 times. It's Friday night. Uh, I, I, uh, the lighting would be weird in here and, and the page, like anything that I shoot is going to look kind of yellowish. Uh, so I just opted to do, um, a slideshow. I'll have pertinent links to Tarada in the description box and, um, you can follow him on Instagram. And uh, also I think there's a company that kind of represents him and, uh, He's great. Um, so I first saw Tarada's uh, work in um, a little square bound book. If I, if I can, I'll try to put a link in the description box below, at least to a um, a thumbnail of it. And uh, I, I bought it completely randomly. Um, I used to go to a Japanese bookstore uh, and I was always looking for new stuff. We had kind of started to get into, we as in um, a couple of my friends at Wildstorm, we were starting to get into a lot more quote unquote serious art. I, I was friends with Aaron Weisenfeld and um you know, Aaron's a fine artist now and, and uh so Aaron had some interesting influences and things that he was getting into. We got exposed to like Line Decker, um and uh just stuff started to happen and I was just really like searching for more and more uh, different art and uh Man, I, I saw the cover of the Tarada book, and I was just like, wow, I don't know what this is. And, and most Japanese bookstores, their books are sealed, so you can't open them generally. <laughs> kind of sucks. It's like it's like the covers all look cool, but, but uh, yeah, you never know what you're getting inside. But uh, was this was a grand slam. And so um, he does a lot of kind of like spot illustrations. He has done sequential comic art though too. I have a couple of uh, books that he did a really, really dark, um, God, I want to say it's like Cinderella story. It's something really twisted, but it's, it's kind of like a fairy. It's a fairy tale that, that you would know. Um, but, but it's just super demented. It might even be little red riding hood. Um, but it's, it's dark. <laughs> so, uh, Anyway, but but uh, you, you, we're gonna see a large variety of his work here, and um, I'm gonna skip any kind of photos, uh, uh, you know, just photographs of stuff. But um, yeah, he he's really really good with gear. I actually had looked at this work. Um, this is from the book that I have. Uh, um, uh, like a week ago, and. Uh, the one thing that I was really impressed with, and he, he's been drawing tech and stuff like that for, for many, many years now. Um, he puts all these little nuances in this stuff that are just fantastic and really give it not only a unique look, but a very functional and like the shapes and stuff that he uses. They look like legit stuff that like, I, I'm not, I don't know anything about like mechanics and stuff like that. Um, but, like, I look at this and I go, this is shit that I wouldn't make up. I mean, this is a, a really simple example of what he does. But there's a few pieces in here that you'll see and you'll go, you know, he's really got a very, very cool grasp on um, parts and, and pieces of machinery and stuff like that that really, really look functional. I mean, just the the, the joints and the way that things attach and, and uh, it's all really, really nicely done. Um Kind of move through some of this. This is a little older. And and another thing about Toronto that I had mentioned, I had I what had happened is I actually shot about a 50 minute video of this and uh I ended up just not posting it. I was, I I don't know. It just it wasn't really what I wanted it to be. And I'm super picky, honestly. <laughs> you might be shocked if you've ever followed my YouTube channel that I actually am selected, but I am. Uh and uh so Tarada at the time too actually had very very cutting edge looking colors. Um, it, it, it might not seem like that now, but um, 
he had a book called, I think, Painter Bond or something like that. And he actually showed, um, I, I think he was calling an illustrator. I mean, a uh, Coral Painter. And um, he actually had a very, very unique way that he colored that was painterly. But at the time, you weren't, you, you didn't see a lot of traditional uh, painting texture as much in uh, especially any kind of comic illustration it was starting to pop up more and more in concept art but i mean we're going way back now i mean like 20 years um maybe even a little bit longer it could have been around 1998 so i mean if you you know uh, there's probably people that follow my channel that weren't even born then it's possible it's funny because this little stack of people pieces right here some of it looks like it might be on vellum it may not be but just it, it has the look of it um i met jeff darrow at comic-con many many years ago i actually met him like a year ago and i've got to talk to him one-on-one -on -one before the show opened for a bit and he was very nice very very cool guy and the first time that i met him he was super intimidating and he was kind of not very approachable um but he had a <laughs> He had a stack of like stuff like this. There was there was like kind of just stuff all over his desk and not super organized, uh, not as organized as this. And and a lot of it was on vellum. And uh, I was like looking through it, and and it was almost like he did his pages and pieces. And so you might see like part of a panel here and another part here. And I'd seen hard boiled, but um, wasn't uh super super familiar with like all the you know like every drawing in it and stuff like that. But I remember I I asked him. I said. Uh, I go, are, are these for sale? And he goes, everything's for sale. <laughs> I was like, okay, all right. You win. I'm going to leave. <laughs> this is really, really cool. Man, that is nice. So, uh, yeah, this was actually, uh, to be honest, I, I had a lot of trouble picking a super fun Sunday uh, today. I, did, I, I really honestly wasn't inspired to do anything comic book related. <laughs> I was looking at like some superhero stuff and I was just like, nope. So this, this, this is good. Yeah. So, um, you'll see the sort of Kim Jong G kind of thing going on with, uh, him doing a lot of like live drawing and stuff like that. I mean, it's, it's very in vogue and I mean, I'm seeing more and more, uh, stuff on Instagram and stuff like that of people that are, you know, drawing, you know, with uh, no underdrawing and you know what I mean? It's like, it's a show. I think that that's actually very, very cool though. And it was funny. It was something that I had, I had always thought, uh, <laughs> coming from a music background and like the whole thing behind me playing music was, was, uh, you, you got to play live and you got to play for people and it was exciting and it was scary if you played for enough people and uh, it was really, really intense. It was a lot of energy and stuff like that and comic books to me is a very like uh, passive kind of thing. It's like you do it at home and it's intense, at least for me it is. When I draw, I'm fucking into it, um, but uh there's not that um like feedback that you get like immediately and i think that that it is actually very very cool that um uh, now people are like almost performing as artists the first artist that i had seen do it and I, I know other people have done it before there's two that come to mind is uh if you've ever seen Jimi hendrix live at monterey the intro to that video there's a guy that paints in an alley um, like he just throws paint on a wall and he does this, uh, like portrait of Jimi Hendrix. It's very Sienkiewicz. -y. Um, that was the first time I'd actually ever seen someone kind of like paint live and actually knock something out, uh, quite quick. Um, and I, it wasn't even in the comic books at that point. And then, uh, the other is, um, Andrew, Android Jones, not Andrew Jones. I think that's a different one. Android Jones, um, does raves and he does digital, uh, paintings, uh, um, live, which is cool, but yeah, so this is the thing now. We're performers and artists. You can you can go on stage and draw for people, which is kind of cool. These are this is nice. That's so cool, man. That is cool. But you can see, do you see like a little bit of the texture and stuff like this, where it's it's got like um. You know, some of it almost looks like clay. Some of it looks like oil paint and stuff like that. Not a lot of people were doing this in the early 2000s. 
that's really cool. He had a little bit of like a Simon Bisley feel to some of his stuff. And this is kind of similar to the um, the stuff that I was talking about in that, um, I don't know, whatever, Little Red Riding Hood book. This is cool. <laughs> Her eyes are like very, very crooked. There's so much good art, man. So many ways that you can take your art and do different things. It's awesome. And the fact that you can show stuff online and really cultivate a fan base um, and get immediate feedback. I think it's really, really amazing. These are nice. I love um, the bracket around this. It's really a nice touch. This right here in particular is really, really clever um, and looks very cool. He's great with this, like I like I don't know what it is if it's like a surge protector thing that he puts on stuff. Like there's just little, little things that he does. I'll I'll point out the one that I'm thinking of when I see it. There's one in particular that I was like, God damn, like I'm friends with an artist named Tom Coker, and Tom Coker, uh, he was telling me that he would <laughs> he would actually use um, lawnmower motors is sometimes tech reference or you know like a, whatever you want to call it like inspiration. The chords and stuff like that are really cool too. I like to look at the stuff on the wall. You could hide stuff. See, so you do you post a photo like this, and then you put like little Easter eggs in it. Satan is coming for your soul right there. And then someone would see it and, and, and probably go crazy. Uh, that's really cool. It looks like he's... <laughs> I know it's probably like a bookstore. It almost looks like a, like a head shop, like where you'd buy like bongs. I don't know why. Like the back corner where they would have like the posters, <laughs> like like art books. I don't know if anyone's ever been to San Diego. There's a there's a store in Ocean Beach called The Black that was like the coolest store ever when I was a kid. We'd go there and uh half of the store was like all like pipes and bongs and all sorts of paraphernalia. And the other half was like music stuff. So as kids, we would go and buy posters and uh, black light posters and all these like they had HR Giger books and you know that kind of stuff. It was really cool. It was the best store ever. It's still there in fact. But you could probably, honestly, I bet they probably sell some graphic novels. That's cool. Yeah, the Black is a very cool store if you come to San Diego. It's worth the trip. That's cool. Man, look at the texture on that paper. That is a thick, thick weave on it. Oh, that's cool. Oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna remember his name. Shoot, what is his name? It's a uh... oh Carlos Wante. We should do a Carlos Wante um, super fun Sunday. That would be great. He's a concept artist. He goes by a weird name on uh, Instagram. I can't think of what it is. Monster, monster artist or something. This is nice. <laughs> that's really cool it's like goofy but I kind of like it oh man that's neat this I think is a work in progress of like one of those spontaneous drawings so yeah that's what I thought it's cool oh yeah 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 I remember I was I was trying to figure out what the paper and pens were that he was using this is weird. The the images almost feel like they're coming in a different order than I saw them before. I might, I don't know. I might have thrown them in a different folder or something. It's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the pen. That's really cool. These guys are so talented, man. They're so good. A nice little touch. <laughs> that's cool oh my god drawing so fun I remember this piece it like like this reminds me of uh, Yellow Submarine a little bit it's just cool shit and it's really cool that's some thankless shit right there drawn in a room 
<laughs> like there's like no one around and you're just like, oh, I'm going to slave over this thing for like 12 hours. Like hopefully someone will buy it. No, this stuff probably sells for a lot. On Friday, I'm a lot more casual with this than on Sunday. It's like fun. I should shoot him Friday night. It feels weird though. Feels like a cheat. That's funny. They're they're using the like uh whatever you call it like the. Uh, what do they what do they call those? I can't think of it. Like, but make sure it's straight. Straight edge detector. I like this little bird. He looks angry. This guy's cool too. Man, that is so sick. If you understand basic form, this stuff is not as hard as it looks. It's why people can do it. I mean, these guys are amazing artists, but I've been really pushing this on uh, my Patreon for people to understand that, that drawing things, all things are shapes, they're all geometry. Once you understand geometry, it doesn't matter what you draw. You can just make it up because it's like you've seen a cat. It's like you can throw ears on something. But if you can't draw form and space, then you're done. It's You can't even get started. What happens is because paper is flat, people think very 2D. And they see the surface detail. And they don't understand that really good artists, they're always rendering form. They're always rendering shape. None of these lines are haphazardly placed. I mean, some are just because it's like it's putting a lot down. But he's always indicating form. The stuff is always wrapping around form. The direction of the lines and the way that they're pointing, it's all crucial to representing three-dimensional space on a two-dimensional thing. You start throwing lines straight up and down on something that's actually, um, you know, like like this little rabbit's face. It's like a cookie shape. It, it's, it's not a circle. It's a circle that's got, like, a, a spherical face on it. And this has got... Uh, you know, like a curve to it. And uh, if you don't represent that, you really could never do stuff like this. Once you understand that, then, you know, you just relax, make up what you're going to draw, and then draw it, you know. And then it's proportions. So this is super impressive, but it, it's, it's a tangible goal if you learn the right stuff. So come to Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach you. Man, this is so cool. Wow, that is really neat. When you draw like this, there's always someone that goes, could you do a tattoo for me? And then you say, yeah, would you like to pay me for it? And they're like, oh. <laughs> didn't, I, wasn't, I didn't realize that it would cost money. Man, that is a really, really great drawing. I like this a lot. This is very, very cool. He's, honestly, like I would, it doesn't need to go too much further. I like the negative space with it. I think it's got a lot of... Um, the breathing room is actually quite uh, nice. Wow, that's great. Damn. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, that is so cool. Oh, man. Tarada. Bringing it. Yeah, this is older stuff. If it's not older stuff, it's kind of done in that style. Yeah, he would <laughs> do the Marilyn Manson eye. That's cool. I This is some very interesting flora, or is it fauna? Are fauna animals? <laughs> we went over this before on another Super Fun Sunday, I think. Uh, all right. Oh, that's cool. We're not looking at photos, though. Just don't do it. He's cool. I like him. Man, that... <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Wow. Oh, that was another thing with this guy. I wonder if we're going to get into it. He is really, really good with texture. He's there's, there's some drawings coming up where he draws food. And it's incredible how he he um, handles it. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a, in a second. This is really nice. These parts are great. I love the 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 construction of this stuff is so good oh 
man, that's wild. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, it's nice. This looks like a real painting. I don't know if it's acrylic or oils, though. Well, who knows? Pointless trying to guess. Man, it reminds me of when my band was on tour and you would pull into like a new town and you're just like, whoa, what is this place? That's really, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I love old buildings, so those all I'll always grab my attention. My fantasy is to one day move to like um, Maine and live in like a small, like one of those weird, like old towns. And be like the creepy old artist that writes and like they go, oh, he bought that one house. Yeah, so check this out. This is really, really cool. So look at the different textures that he does here. Like like this, the the way that he wraps like this little piece of mushroom around and then the like the casing on I I would guess this is probably like a piece of cucumber that maybe we're seeing still the the rim of it. Hey, there's there's more of this, and then how the sushi has got like that that more scratchy texture, and the rice. This is this is really nicely done, and there's there's quite a few more, and even this, the um, what was this like? I can't think what it's called. Magura, something. It's like, let's see. There's some there's some more of these types of drawings, but oh, it's really nice. That's really cool. That's good too. It's, it's tough to draw on canvas. It's kind of annoying. All the the texture is a little like if you're used to paper, especially like smooth Bristol, it'll fuck with you. Yeah, this is nice. I thought this was really good. Again, just like I mean, you could just see the coating and like the little sesame seeds on it and like a little bit of the stuff. And then this is like dipped in tempura batter and, or I mean, it could be chunks of meat, but it looks like a little tempura to me. And then even the cucumber and then this, like he's got a really nice attention to detail with this stuff. It's very, very, it's very well drawn. You, you could, you could not do that well very easily. This is cool. Again, like very interesting parts, really, really interesting parts. Man, that's a lot of paper. Am I tripping, or is this this? It looks like it's all paper. Oh, that's nice. Nice hand. Yeah, that's really cool. That's really good. It's weird, like, that might be him. It almost doesn't look like him to me. I haven't seen him in a long time, so I don't know if that, that's him. That's a great piece, too. God dang. Yeah, that's really cool. This dude is such a badass. That is awesome. That is awesome. That's what we're just looking at. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I remember that photo. This is really, really nice. Dan Fraga is really, really good at doing this stuff too. It's super impressive what Dan does with his um like spontaneous drawings. He's really good at it. Really good. This is great. His animals are awesome. I mean, like like stuff like this would be hard to do if you don't know a tortoise or a crow or whatever animal whatever bird that is. I mean that stuff could be hard, but it looks like a gecko. Maybe it's a chameleon, but oh that's really cool too. It was funny when I saw this for it, it just looks like a Banksy piece to me. <laughs> oh man, that's cool. Alright, this is fun. Oh yeah, that's the Oh yeah, is that the original? It looks like one of the prints. That's gotta be a print. Or maybe not, who knows? I hate guessing on stuff, so What are you doing? Oh, you want to sit down? Hold on, I'm going to fix my cat's bed for it. Here, I'll move this. I'm sorry. There you go, buddy. Oh, yeah. 
this is cool. Man, if you had this at Comic-Con, like laid out on your table, you would sell all this shit. 100%. This stuff would go. That's cool. Wow, that's really cool. That's really interesting. What a great piece. Wow, that that's super, super cool. This is a nice touch right here, man. Sorry if I'm going through some of them a little fast. There's so many images. I mean, it's it's like, you know what I mean? Might as well go for like kind of the money shots. But you can always pause the video. And, and also, um, you know, if you check out his Instagram and stuff like that, you'll be able to see all this stuff. This is nice. He had a very distinct way of drawing girls. I mean, he still does. But um, I mean, that was a, a noticeable characteristic where, where, in particular, the eyes, like you can see it kind of here. They all had really um, sort of, uh, you know, like, like, they almost look like they had like sky blue eyes or something. They were very, very light. <laughs> no darkness in the pupil, which which is cool. It's a nice touch. Yeah, you've got to be really focused to do stuff like this, though. That is the one thing. It's like if you get distracted and start goofing around and try to wing it without like really kind of being in in <laughs> in the moment, I mean, it could go really, really bad fast. If you're focused, you put down your shapes and get your vision, you should be all right. It, what's kind of forgiving about this too is, I mean, that they 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 it's usually objects, meaning that it's parts of things, and you know, well, there's people that that do, you know, I mean, obviously Kim Jung Ji and 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 Dan Fraga, I think too. He does uh, you know, very complete drawings. So that's that's definitely harder than than pieces of things. But these are still very very cool. Man, that's great. God. Now see that looks actually somewhat small. If that's like an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper or something in that perspective, it's, it's it's you know decent size but not huge. That's cool. Man. The, <laughs> the zebra, um, yeah, you could see like whoever represents these guys is like, oh, you want to make money? Do this. We'll sell these for you know, I don't even know what they ask for these. I'd say five to ten grand maybe, a piece. It's not a bad night's work. It could be more. I don't know. I would be surprised if these sell for less than three thousand, but who knows. They had, there was price on something, but it was in yen, but I don't know. It didn't sound right to me. That's cool. Again, nice texture here. This is nice. Very cool. Oh, man, that's awesome. Hey, Nira. Wow. I don't know if I'm tripping, but that looks like a very, very big board. Man, so much good art. Well, that's interesting. So it's on his computer. Oh, maybe there's a photo. Those might be photos of him. That is a very, like, man, that reminds me of, like, old uh, poster art that you would, like, get and then color. <laughs> like, it looks like, like stoner art. Oh, man. That is so crazy. Anyone doing stuff like this? Let me know in the comment section below if you, if you, um, if you do the spontaneous drawing thing and, like, how's it going for you? There's a... I'm thinking his name is Hyde Chang. 
I I don't know if I, I think that I knew his stuff before Instagram. He's on Instagram. It's H Y D E Chang. He has some nice stuff. I don't think he's doing the spontaneous drawing thing, but if you like this style of art, I mean, Hyde definitely does like kind of crazy, like sort of ghost in the shell uh, illustrations. He's good. He's really good. He was kind of doing fan art, honestly, when I first met him, and it was like he I could tell he had a lot of potential. But like, like man, in the last couple of years, he's definitely built built like a stuff that reminds me a little of this. Man, it's so good. Wow, that's really cool. I love that. Oh, wow, that's cool too. Yeah, his parts are so nice. Like, this is a nice touch. This little piece right here on this. And then how this threads through that, like, adapter... And then this, it's, it's all those little nuances, man, are so huge. So do your homework if you're gonna if you're gonna draw tech. It's like I remember I did a drawing way back, and I was totally trying to do stuff like him. And instead of doing any kind of homework, I was just looking at his stuff and then kind of sort of fudging the rest. And, you know, I was young and needed the money. <laughs> No, I think I still own the piece. Um, but uh, you know, it's like I mean, I get why people copy, and you know, you're inspired by something. You see something like this, and you're like, "Damn, I want to draw shit like that." So, we all go through it. But it's always a good idea to to try to go to the source to and uh, you know, at least blend the two. This is really nice. God dang. That's so cool. Yeah, you, you man, you got to be relaxed to do stuff like this. Super focused. Wow. Hello, monkey. He looks very serious. Wow. When I'm done with this, I gotta work. <laughs> My Friday night. Oh man, how funny is that? I must bought the statue. I can't remember. It was a little while ago though. I can't remember if this is the exact one. It looked just like that. I think this is it. <clears throat> yeah, I almost got this statue. It's pretty rare, I think. Oh man, that's it. Hmm. Oh yeah, the I think that that the girl in that comic book story sort of had this thing going on with the like stitches and stuff. That's cool. It looks like at times he does use a little whiteout, right? Am I tripping? It looks like a little whiteout right there. Might have had a boo boo. <laughs> I don't know. Does Kim Jong Ji? I don't think Kim Jong Ji. He doesn't mess up, right? He's part part cyborg. Well, that's cool. No, this is fun. I don't want it to end. That is Tarada, if I'm not mistaken. He didn't. The other that other photo didn't look like him, but. I, who knows? Maybe I'm totally wrong. This is cool. Tengu. Man, that is a great panel. This too. Interesting. Oh, Bilal, huh? Oh, funny. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I think I'm gonna start wrapping this up. Let's, uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna go really fast through like 20 or 50 of these, and then we're gonna stop and we'll go through like six more. All right, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, that was him. Oh wait, uh, maybe that's not him. Oh man, that's cool. This is uh, anatomy tools, I think. Maybe not, but I think this is what I do Comic Con every year. Uh, sometimes I'm by the anatomy tools booth. This stuff is really interesting. I mean, this is it's it's you know. We've been going over a lot of this kind of stuff in Patreon. I've really been trying to give people confidence on learning this stuff. It's, yeah, I don't know. Come to Patreon and check it out. You'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is the hot shit, man. If you wanna, if you wanna be in the this world. Start buying big sheets of paper and set up your garage. Practice. That's really cool. It's at a great angle. Man, that's so awesome. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, she's cool. Kitty. <laughs> oh, that's the cat's head over here. That's funny. Oh man, that's a cool shirt. Is it a shirt? Am I tripping? I think it's a shirt. Oh wow, that's so neat. Look at that. God dang. All right, hopefully that's got people juiced up to draw and try to create. Take your time, learn simple shapes first, get used to moving things down, things around in like three-dimensional space, like your core shapes, cylinders, little discs, cubes, and stuff like that. Then start putting your detail on it and it'll, it'll really help you set up your drawings. But you, you definitely, you want to understand form. This is all about form. And then you render the form, you know. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> what is going on here? All right. I'm going to end it here. All right, you have a great day. I'll talk to you later, and uh, we'll, we'll talk next week. All right, bye.